Hi, welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks uh, Part 1 video. Uh, this video is about uh, history for run stats. Now, DB2 maintains a history for reorg, backup, load, uh, archival of log files, and even uh, the uh, renaming of table spaces and table spaces related operations like that uh, we can use the his list history command or sysibmadm.db history view for accessing the reorg details of the past uh, not specifically reorg you can also access all the above mentioned like backup load archive log etc uh, historical data is maintained in these files now what db2 does not maintain is a history for run stats instead the latest run stats timestamp is available in stats underscore time column of syscat dot tables view but this is kind of limited so it's not like a history of um, run stats operation on a particular table now this tip is to create a history table for run stats populate the table with the details as start time end time you can even uh, you know calculate the duration between this and uh, arrive at uh, a duration like how long it the run stats has run for a particular table so be because of this so we get the ability to query at a later point in time for information as below when was run stats run for a particular table did it successfully complete how long it has taken to complete run stats track for a given table the time taken for completing run stats over a period of time table with highest run stats execution time so you can uh, segregate your run stats execution as per uh, you know you can group the tables which will take more time to execute you can uh, you can execute them in a uh, when you have a, a larger maintenance window and you can uh, run uh, run stats for those tables which are taking less less amount of time uh, and also for a specific table over a period of time you can calculate okay you can look at the duration how long it takes typically for a table and which will give you a fair idea of about how the table uh, cardinality is changing why the run stats is taking more time for this table over a period of time you can analyze like that now this is a this is the uh, run stats history table that we are going to create it's a very fairly simple table start time is a column with timestamp end time is a timestamp column and operation is a actually uh, here we are only doing run stats you can easily extend the uh, script that i'm going to show you to incorporate reorg also or even load also for the same same matter like you can do this uh, actually uh, schema name and table name uh, status status will be like s for success and f for failure like that whether the run stats was uh, successful or not and there is a duration uh, duration is a, a generated always column you need not do anything it is like end time minus start time formula uh, most probably the end time will be either equal to or greater than the start time depending upon your table size okay let's uh, go quickly to the uh, code so what you need for this is uh, first we need the run stats file that is going to be executed so this is something like a very simple file which you can create manually or also you can uh, write query the catalog tables and generate this file so db2 run stats on table db2 inst1 dot underscore log is a table on which we need to run the run stats so like this we just prepare a script uh, right now it has one two three four five six tables here i'm having six tables and uh, if you uh, okay I'll connect to the database DB2 connect to test test is my uh, database DB2 list tables now here I have one two three four five files only so sorry five tables only table A table B table C T underscore G O L T underscore L O G but I have prepared run stats with six where this t underscore g w o l is not at all a uh, existing table <laughs> so if some error comes the error will be handled so just to show that i am having this invalid record here and the next file that we need is my time dot sh so instead of executing the the sh uh, run stats directly uh, through that uh, run stats file which i showed you you have to execute the uh, shell script here this is a fairly simple shell script it uh, connects to the test database it looks for the run stats dot out file that i showed you it goes in a while loop reading one line at a time with status uh, the status is the run stats uh, uh, completion status f for failure and if you see here 
the status is set as yes on successful execution of the run stats and there is a start time that is set before the execution there is a end time that is uh, set after the execution and the dollar line this uh, talks about this is the one where um, uh, this is the actual execution happens so this dollar line corresponds to every single line inside this loop so it will come one line at a time which will be like one uh, run stats command at a time and that is getting inputted to the awk uh, script here and uh, it will generate a uh, perf underscore run stats dot out so what this file uh, contains I, I'll show to you shortly so let's go and uh, uh, run the script and see so first we'll I'll, I'll disconnect Now I need to run the file dot space. So this is the location I'm just copying. Sorry. Okay. Slash home slash documents db2 skills my time dot sh. So once I execute this file, we'll see. So it has connected, it has run the run stats. And here you can see the table does not exit error is shown. And because of that, the status remains F here. And the other uh, commands are run successfully. And it should have generated now uh, the run stats dot out file. So we we'll look at the contents of the run stats dot out file. okay so now this is a space delimited file so this contains all the records so it contains the entry for the six tables when the run stats started when the run stats ended what is the operation the schema name the table name and the success or failure here you can see the second one is a failure because there is no table like t underscore g o o l that we saw right <laughs> now what we need to do is convert this to be a uh, comma delimited file for which we can use the simple scd command here if you look at the command scd if any it substitutes the blank spaces with a comma so we can just quickly run this so it would have generated a del file for us so it becomes a comma separated file now next step is to create create the table uh, Next step is to create the table run stats history. So we'll just copy this. It's the same command that you saw in this PDF file. Same table. So db2 connect to test. I've just created the table now. Now the next portion is to import the data. Whatever we have, uh, the, the del file that we have generated, right? So that is the uh, data that we need to be imported which is this so you can ignore the warnings here because it, it is more like a timestamp uh, value warning see if you look at here it is up to the second only hour minute second mark so uh, the warning is like for the microseconds because the timestamp is like dot triple zero triple zero dot, dot followed by six zeros will be coming so that is the warning message we can skip that and we can look at the uh, records now and this is a fairly simple query i'm just querying the run stats underscore history table for all the columns so it here it will clearly say uh, okay, so this is my start time. This is my end time. This is the operation that I performed. This is the schema name. This is the table name t underscore log and the status is success. 
and it has taken zero days, zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. Like sub second response time was there on this run stats. Here actually these are all just sample data, so you will not really see that much here alone. Okay, so here we are seeing one table, table A, which has taken one second of response time for the run stats command. Uh, so in actual data, you will be able to see. Uh, you know the real uh, stuff going on there so for that what I have done is just I have mimicked this so I'm just inserting few sample values here into the uh, run stats history table directly okay now I'll run the same query again the duration uh, query so here you can see see it, it is listing as if the timestamp values were uh, you know appropriate because I, I just inserted them in an appropriate manner I just modified it manually so 1 minute and 1 second 1 hour 1 minute and 10 second 15 minutes and 30 seconds 1 day 1 hour 25 minutes and 40 seconds so it's pretty much flexible um, these are all just straightforward simple uh, uh, timestamp queries like uh, and you can perform all the the stuff that I was talking here like uh, when run stats was run for a particular all the questions that are listed here can be answered uh, once you have this table set up with such kind of data thank you for watching um, uh, db2 luw tips and tricks video uh, please visit my channel db2 luw academy frequently to uh, uh, i'll be keep uploading uh, more tips and tricks and also some some more videos uh, thank you thank you for watching